Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my GeForce Now Startup Cloud Gaming Guide. I haven't used this service in years now, so I'll be creating a new account and then subscribe to their service. I'm from India. Using GeForce Now Singapore based server, you should be getting a ping of around 60 to 80 milliseconds. In case you don't already know, NVIDIA will be officially releasing GeForce Now in India. May happen in the third quarter of 2025. Until then, you can use GeForce Now Startup. I've even tested the Malaysia based server of GeForce Now. Its ping is usually 10 milliseconds higher than that of Singapore based server. Unfortunately, there is no free trial offered by GeForce Now Startup. These are the paid plans available. None of these plans offer an unlimited priority queue. For example, this is the Priority Pro monthly plan. Skip the queue for first 100 hours, normal access thereafter. This means there will be a long waiting queue. 6 hour game session for the first 100 hours, 3 hours thereafter. Ray tracing on only for the first 100 hours. And this plan is priced at around 16 Singapore dollars. Very disappointed with the priority light plan. Priced at around 9 Singapore dollars. Skip the queue for the first 20 hours. First session capped at 6 hours. Ray tracing on for the first 20 hours. Show the day pass. Tap on session pass. I'll be buying this plan. Gives us a playtime of around 6 hours. It's priced at around 4 Singapore dollars. Ray tracing on. Okay, first I'll create a game hub account. It's free. Click on login here. Then click on create one for free. These are the details that you need to fill in. Email ID, name, gender, date of birth, password, country. I hope India is supported. I yeah, there it is. So I'll just enter my real mobile number. Okay, so my Indian mobile phone number worked. Account created, as you can see. Gaming DJ profile. Subscription section. I haven't purchased any subscription yet. Just tap on GeForce now. See plans. Session pass. And just purchase this one. Six hour pass. Tap on subscribe now. I'll be using my access bank visa debit card to make the payment. Make sure international payment is enabled on your card. I've entered my debit card's details. Even PayPal and Google Pay are supported by G4 Startup. Check out. The transaction was successful. Rupees 272 were detected from my bank. The pass starts immediately after the payment is made and it will expire after 6 hours. I'll be using GeForce now on my Xiaomi Pad 6 Android platform. You can download it from Get Apps. Open. My tab is connected to a 5 GHz band Wi-Fi channel. Airtel Extreme Fiber Broadband Connection. 100 megabits per second plan. For cloud gaming, an Ethernet connection on a 5 GHz band Wi-Fi channel is recommended. Do not use a 2.4 GHz band Wi-Fi channel or 4G mobile internet connection. Get in. Sign to your GameHub account. Show providers for other regions. Here just look for Starhub. There it is. No VPN is required to access Starhub server from India. Okay, I need to fill in these details. They thought about these settings are optional. We are in priority 6 hour pass. Show you the stream settings. Server location only one SG Starhub. Let's test the network first. This is the result. Measured bandwidth higher than 50 megabits per second. Here's the main parameter latency. It's around 79 milliseconds, not bad. For running single play games, latency value should not be higher than 80 milliseconds. And for online games, the latency value should not be higher than 40 milliseconds. Otherwise, input delay will become noticeable. Streaming quality, custom, max bitrate, auto, resolution. 1920 by 1200 pixels this is the max resolution value that I can select on this tab aspect ratio 16 is to 10 frame rate 60 no 120 fps option color precision 8 bit adjust for poor network conditions English that's it I'll connect my steam account to GeForce Now Star Hub my game should automatically show up tap on connect I'll just scan this QR code using Steam's Android application to sign to my Steam account. Account has been linked. 255 games sync. 
I'll kick things off with Cyberpunk 2077 version 2.2. We'll be running the in-game benchmark, show you the hardware specification play, ray tracing on. Let's check out the waiting queue. Looking for the next available rig. 11 gamers ahead of me. Short queue. Loading. So the queue lasted for a minute only. This is Steam Setup Wizard. We need to go through it only once. I have connected my 8 bit to Ultimate 2C controller to Shine Pad 6 via Bluetooth mode. Select your language. Why is the interface stuttering here? Sign to our Steam account. Scan the QR code using Steam's Android application. Location of the server Singapore. We are in. An update is being downloaded. I'll just enable the performance overlay. Tap on this arrow icon here. Tap on the three dots. Tap on statistics. Here you can see the game and stream FPS. Ping. It's all over the place. Update has been installed. Steam Cloud downloading. My save files are getting downloaded. Steam uses Cloud Save feature to save our progress. Upon exiting a game, our save files are automatically uploaded to the cloud servers of Steam. Even other digital stores support this feature like Ubisoft Connect, EA, Epic Games, etc. Steam Cloud up to date, play, games launcher, play, game settings, ping has stabilized now close to 80 milliseconds. I am using the ray tracing medium preset, upscaler set to DLSS using its transformer model. Quality preset, sharpness level set to 0.3, frame generation disabled, it increases the latency, ray tracing effects that are enabled, and just scroll down, disable post processing effects like chromatic abrasion, depth of field, lens flare and motion blur, rest of the settings are left as they are, high to ultra, Apply Video settings Disable the FPS cap Resolution 1920x1200 pixels Reflex on VSync off Apply Run benchmark test Test complete The results are very disappointing Got an average FPS of around 47 Minimum FPS 39 Max FPS 55 Name of the GPU RTX 2080 Available VRAM 16GB Name of the CPU Intel CC150 Clocked at 3.5GHz They have not updated their hardware System RAM 14GB only Oh my god I'll just drop the graphics preset to Ray tracing low Using the Quality mode of TLSS upscaler Post processing effects disabled Start the game. We are in standing right outside V's apartment building in Little China. FPS is within a range of 40 to 55. Real world input delay, it's manageable. You can definitely use the Singapore based server from India. Ping is close to 83 milliseconds. Image quality is looking very sharp. Data consumption around 3.8 megabyte per second depends on the scene. I'll engage in combat, kill the cops. I hope StarHub upgrades their server. Many newly released AAA games are going to struggle on this server. Most of these games are unoptimized. Driving around the city makes the game more demanding on the GPU. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. 34 FPS, see, I told you. I knew this would happen. 30 FPS, see. Yeah, the server is struggling. The ray tracing is on. Okay, so now I'll test the next game. Make sure you exit the game properly to avoid any issues with cloud saves. Basically, exit the game from the game's menu. Quit game. Back to GeForce now. It got closed automatically. Now I'll run another popular game, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. It's very nicely optimized. I am expecting good performance. 60 FPS, there it is. Both Steam and Epic Games versions of the game are supported by GeForce. Now I own the Steam version play. Another short queue. But I need to sign to my Steam account again. Okay, 
अनअवेलेबल इन करंट रीजन दिस इज अमेजिंग इंस्टॉल लेट सी वट हैपन्स डाउनलोड नेवर स्टार्टेड आई एल जस्ट रन अन अदर गेम बैटमैन आखम अजायला आखम सिटी एंड आखम नाइट वाई एडिट टू जी फोर्स नाउ फ्यू वीक्स अगो आई एल जस्ट रन आखम नाइट स्टीम वर्जन ऑफ द गेम देर इट इज स्टीम प्ले नो वेटिंग क्यू द गेम स्टार्टेड इमिजिएटली देर इज द गेम स्टार्टेड ऑटोमेटिकली द सर्विस इवन सपोर्ट्स अ वर्चुअल गेम पैड इन ऑर्ड टू एक्सेस इट जस्ट टैप ऑन द एरो आइकन है दैन टैप ऑन दिस कंट्रोलर आइकन देर इज द वर्चुअल गेम पैड आई जस्ट यूज माई एट पी टू कंट्रोलर टू प्ले द गेम वर्चुअल की बोर्ड आई रन द गेम विथ मैक्सड आउट सेटिंग्स इट्स ओल्ड नाउ दिस इज अन रियल इंजन थ्री रेजोल्यूशन वन नाइन टू जीरो बाई ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड पिक्सल्स बेसिंग ऑफ मैक्स एफ पी एस सिक्सटी एवरीथिंग सेट टू हाई मोशन ब्लड डिसेबल ऑल डिसेबल क्रोमेटिक एवरेशन एंड फिल्म ग्रेम एस वेल नेम ऑफ द जी पी आर टी एक्स टू जीरो एट जीरो अवेलेबल वी रैम सिक्सटीन जी बी वी आर इन दिस बैटमैन या हे वी आर गेटिंग सिक्सटी एफ पी एस डेटा कंसम्पन इज अराउंड फोर मेगा बाइट पर सेकेंड स्टनिंग विजुअल्स इज क्लाइडिंग अराउंड द सिटी फिफ्टी टू टू सिक्सटी एफ पी एस ड्राइविंग अराउंड मेक्स द गेम वेरी हैवी ऑन द सी प्यू जिस कॉल बैट मोबाइल देर इट इज ड्राइवर ऑन कीप एन ऑन द एफ पी एस काउंटर आई ट्राफ टू अराउंड फिफ्टी वन सी आफ्टर बर्नर बेसिकली बूस्ट सो फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी एफ पी एस इन आकम नाइट विथ मैक्स सेटिंग्स इट्स अ प्लेबल एक्सपीरियंस पिंग क्लोज टू एटी मिली सेकेंड्स लेटेंसी इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम आई लेंगेज इन कॉम्बैट असिस्टेड टेक डाउन So good to see all of the Arkham games getting added to GeForce now. You get that beautiful lighting. Now I'll test the next game. Now I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. This game cannot be played using the free tier of GeForce now, as we cannot disable ray tracing in this game. Select the platform Xbox. Mark as own. Connect. Sign to your Microsoft account that has an active membership of PC Game Pass. One forty-six PC Game Pass games got synced. Need to restart GeForce now. Back to Indiana Jones. Yeah, now it's marked as owned. Play. Syncing data. Save files are getting downloaded. That work. We are in. So PC Game Pass version of the games do work on StarHub server. Thank God. Resolution full HD. This game is so expensive in India. Steam store price is around rupees five thousand. We saying I'll just disable it. FPS limit one thousand. Overall graphics quality hits head to high. This game consumes a lot of VRAM, but this server has sixteen GB of VRAM, so that should not be a problem. Ray tracing off. Don't enable it. This GPU won't be able to handle it. Upscaling set to DLSS using its quality preset. That's it. I'll test the game in the city of Vatican. This particular sequence is very heavy on the CPU. We're getting good performance. FPS is close to 50, 46 to 52. Input delay is not a problem. Ping is around 83 milliseconds. I'm engaged in combat. Punch this guy. <laughs> Use my whip. Okay, need to press the R1 key now to punch. That was a parry. Just need to press the L1 key right before our enemies attack land like this. Which quality is looking very sharp. This is amazing. Data consumption 3.8 megabyte per second. 
that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day